Hello everyone, and welcome to AOR Abu Dhabi qualifying. So this is one of my favourite tracks on the whole calendar. There not many people like it, but I really, really do. And uh, maybe it's not my favourite track, but it's, it's certainly up there. And I would normally name it as one of my favourites, that's for sure. And a uh, bit of a point to prove this season. Last season, I was off the pace and I blamed um, some sort of glitch, some sort of weird glitch that I thought I had. So uh, even though Orange isn't racing this season, which it was last, I've still got a bit of a point to prove. So here's the setup then. Okay, I won't bother reading any of it out. That one will 11, 11 uh, front ride height to try and help me down the straight. So should have good straight line speed. And uh, so here we go. You can see that my PB at the top, 36.751. I can tell you the pole last season with Bionage was a 36.2. Um, so I'm a little way up on that, my PB. But bearing in mind, my PB is actually um, probably a few cuts. And I did do about three or four hours worth of practice. So I practiced a lot. I tend to on tracks, I enjoy. I do practice a lot, which makes me even better at them. And, uh, and I do really enjoy them. So first sector then, 252, not bad. About a tenth off my uh, my best first sector, which is pretty good. And like I say, my PBs probably have got cuts in them, to be honest with you. And also a lot and lot of practice. And that's my best sector times over the course of three hours worth of practice. So if I can get within, I don't know, say half a second of that, that'll be a success. But coming down the very long back straight now, even to Rev Limiter, really good breaking zone at the end of this one. Probably my favourite breaking zone on the track. It's so important to get it slowed down on time so you can get into this next chicane nicely. Oh, lots and lots of oversteer. Wow, lost a lot of time there. I think I even have to come off the throttle there, so not great. And uh, we'll get a set of time now, but I imagine it'll be down. It is four tenths down on my uh, my vest. Again, not expecting to be able to beat it, but that's a long way down. I can definitely beat that. Oh, a little bit deep there as well. Completely missed my apex. All over the curb on the exit as well. So it's been a good first lap. Not been, not been uh, amazing, but it's been, it's been solid. Would be the way I'll describe this first lap. Pretty sweet, absolutely near the apex on the last one. And again there, and uh, oh, big cut there though. That wasn't great at all. Ah, there we are. You hear me, little lift there. I didn't know I did that. Little lift there because of that size of that cut. I did do a little bit of a lift because I thought, you know what, that's too much. Oh, we're still in the final corner. Just about managed to get to the line though, and it's a thirty-seven seven five two. So exactly, almost to the, uh, well, 1,000th off a second slow on my PB then. And uh, quite proud of that lift, I must say. And I just deemed, and saw me take a few seconds to think about it and just thought, no, nope, that's too big, I can't do that. And a little lift there. So we know we can improve definitely in the middle of the sector and the final sector. First sector was pretty solid as it was. But uh, we can definitely improve then. So this is the second lap. We come in, got a new set of boots on it. And we're back out. Jack first, managed to take pole with 37.6. So just over a tenth up on me. I'm a little bit down first sector. A little bit deep there. That was a pretty sweet exit though, so we made up for it. And that was nice, just in the apex nicely. And that was a nice exit as well. Just right on the limit of wheel spin, you heard that. The engine just trying to pick up revs, but it didn't quite. And uh, do you remember last race? I said, uh, that was India in quali. I said that where I believe my strength lies is being able to push right up to the limit, but not cross the limit. Well, this track shows that beautifully. And we'll get on to some more. Oh, we're we still in the exit again there. The same, we'll get onto that more in a bit, but... Lots, lots of oversteer there once again. So losing the rear end. So I don't imagine I'll be much up if I am. It was better, better than last lap, but not. Still wasn't great. And while I'm a tenth up, actually my best, my last lap overall. And a tenth and a half up in the middle sector. Oh, another cut there, and I got a warning for it. So that'll be lap disallowed. But you'll notice here, I keep this edit in because I keep pushing on my in lap. I've done three hours of practice, and this was directly before the race. I started at five. The race is at eight. I did three hours worth of practice, but I'm still pushing. I'm still trying to learn. I'm still pushing. I still want to. You know, to me now, I might as well push. These tyres are gone. I'm never going to use these tyres again. No need to save them. Don't need the fuel. Don't need anything. You know, it's not letting like damage a car, really, in this game. So I'm continuing to push that. Push the limits. Even the pet entry. Look, pushing the pet entry. Ready for the race. Practicing every way I can. Every split second I can. But anyway, here we are then. Back in the pits. Well, you can see I'm actually P3 now then. The two first guys doing very well. Fat first spin. A really solid lap. 37.582. And uh, very similar set of times. It's the final set who beat me there. But we know my PBs are better and all of that. So hopefully I better improve. But... I tell you what, this, this is why I go league racing. A track I love, a track I practice on, a track I'm confident on. With I know I've got a decent PB and I'm a long way off that PB. And I feel like I've got a bit of a point to prove from last season. And the last lap of a qualifying session. And honestly, this is why I go league racing. This is what I love about it. Is uh, pushing like this, final lap. So I've got one lap, that's it. I'm in P3 at the moment, which is pretty good, but I want, I've got a point to prove. This is my track. I love this track, and I've done very, very well at this track. I had a perfect win record up until last season when I swear I had a glitch. And uh, 
I can tell you that my, my lap time last year was a 0.6, so we're only about a tenth off that. But here we go then. So, like I said before, watch these track limits. Obviously, I've seen the lap in the edit, and it's very, very close to the limits. So here we go. First corner then. Breaking very late. Pretty good there. Ooh, nice, nice bit of sliding on the exit there. That was just perfect. Slight over, slight correction just to make sure it doesn't uh, oversteer. But that was just a nice little slide there on the throttle on the exit. So that'll be a good first sector. We're not quite up, but only 100th down, so that's not too bad. Now the apex nicely there. And again there, all over the curb, but it didn't cost me any time. Get it all turned in. Nicely to the apex. That was a good, good line there. So not getting wheelspun on the exit. Perfect exit on the curves. But, uh, well, just under half left for the next straight. DRS is wide open. It'll be hard than Revenue Limited before the end, of course. So the second sector, we know we can gain a lot of time compared to the previous lap. So let's see what we can do. Breaking very late that time. Right down to first. Still make the apex beautifully. And no wheel spin. No wheel spin on the exit that time. You saw me preemptively correcting the oversteer there. Ready. Because it happened the last two laps. So I learned that and made sure that I was ready for the oversteer. So that was a nice, nice sector. This will be, well, it will certainly be up. How much by... Wow, two and a half tenths up on the previous end, which is also two and a half tenths up on the previous sector. And look at this, right on the lines. Absolutely nailing the limits here, and I'm pushing. I'm pushing hard. Like I say, point to prove on this final lap. Let's do it. This final sector, I know I can gain four tenths in this final sector, so we can push it. I'm just going absolutely to the limit now. I've got P3, that's reasonable enough, but I want pole. I want pole and I want a good lap. And that was absolutely nailed once again. And again, absolutely nailed. I've watched it in super slow-mo, and I can tell I did cut that to one by a couple of centimetres. Couldn't possibly know at the time. Again, so right on the line there. Down to first gear around the final corner. This should be improved. Will it be enough for pole then? We're going to come to the line now. Full throttle for the run to the line, and it's a one minute. Yes, it is pole. One minute, 37.2 dead. So, uh, or 198 according to the top there. So, what a final lap. And I tell you, watching that back in the edit, that was one of the best qualifying laps I think I've ever done in league racing. And I've done a lot of good qualifying laps in league racing. So... That was some lap, and I uh, advise you, I'm not going to do it in this video, but I advise you to go back and watch that again, and watch the track limits, I tell you, right on the limits, on so many corners, there was probably five or six corners that was right on the white, white line, but didn't actually get a cut or an extension, so what a final lap that was, and like I said, that is why I go league racing, final lap, last ditch effort, claim pole by three and a half tenths in the end, so a nice, nice big gap, and uh, that's about it for this video then, well, I'll just briefly mention at the top there, about two tenths off the the uh, final sector on my PB. But again, that was my PB. I'm never going to beat that. And uh, that was quicker than last year's poll time. So my uh, point to proof of uh, the fact that I did have a glitch last season when no one believed me. I do still believe. I do still genuinely believe that I had a glitch. And we'll find out hopefully tomorrow in the race. Hopefully my race pace will be good as well. But uh, race is tomorrow then. And hopefully we can hold on to our poll and uh, take a good race win. Just a quick note as well. Marco, right down there. 1.7 seconds off. Not a track he enjoys, obviously. And I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.